This movie shows the enhancements to the direct modeling workflow, in particular to the Move CV tool. In previous versions, Move CV had a step size setting with two functions. It determined the amount of CV would be moved by each arrow key hit, and it also affected the sensitivity of mouse movements. In Alias 2011, there's now a separate slider for controlling the mouse sensitivity and a separate setting for the step size, and this separation has allowed for a new mouse click behavior for the X, Y, and Z directions. And finally, there's a new setting to modify the pick box size for selecting CVs and hulls. I'll start by looking at the new mouse sensitivity slider. The default setting is one to one, and I'll use this on this CV on the blue surface, which has a locator on it so we can see how far it moves. I'll use Move CV and do a constant mouse movement of 100 millimeters each time. And here the CV has also moved 100 millimeters. If I set the sensitivity to two, a mouse movement of 100 moves the CV half the distance. And if I now set it to 10, it makes my mouse movements 10 times as sensitive. And finally, if I drag the slider all the way to 100, I get very sensitive control of that CV without having to zoom into the view. This sensitivity only applies to the Move CV tool. If I use the Transform Move tool on this CV, it has a one-to-one -one relationship between the mouse movement on the screen and the CV movement, regardless of the sensitivity setting. So nothing has changed for the Transform Move tool. But I can use the sensitivity setting with all the other modes that I'd normally use with Move CV. In practice, you don't measure the distance of your mouse movement on the screen. It's much more intuitive than that. So I've chosen this large model to show you how it would work in practice. To show you the amount of movement I get on the CVs, I'm measuring the overhang of the white superstructure onto this front window, which will update as I use the Move CV tool. I'll work on holes this time, and choose the row of CVs on the centre line to move. The default sensitivity of 1 is clearly too coarse, and even if I take the slider all the way to 100, I do get much better control, but still not really as sensitive as I'd like. Even though the slider only goes to 100, I can type in a bigger value, say 1000, and now I'm getting closer to the accurate control that I need. And the benefit of the new slider is that I can achieve this control while still looking at the whole model. However, if I do zoom in, then as before my control gets even more accurate, because the mouse movement on the screen now corresponds to a smaller distance on the model. So the mouse sensitivity is now separate from the step size, which I'll look at next. The step size setting works exactly the same as before with the arrow keys, and this works well in the two-dimensional views. But now I can also use the three mouse buttons to map to the three X, Y, Z axes, which makes working in a 3D view much more intuitive. Here I've got my step size turned on, with the default step of 0.1. I've got a simple sphere surface, and I'll just pick the top group of CVs to move. I'll start by moving in the Z direction, and if I now use Move CV, I'll click with the right mouse button down here below the model, and you can see the CVs moving down. If I make the step size much bigger, you can see the movement more clearly. So that was three clicks below, and now if I move the mouse above the model, I can do three, four, five clicks above. If I want to move in the Y direction, I use the middle mouse button, and again click on the side of the model that I want the CVs to move towards. On this side they'll go back again. And it's the same in the X direction, where I'll use the left mouse button. And it's important to click, not click and drag, as each click moves by the step size setting in the control panel.
The technique also applies to the other Move CV settings. Here I can use NUV to nudge this CV in the surface normal direction, outwards and then back inwards. If I use the slide settings, once I've selected the direction, I can then slide the hull in the direction of the mouse clicks. You may notice that the size of the slide arrows has been increased and the appearance improved, making it much easier to see and select them in this release. The third change is in the new pick box size. To explain how the setting relates to the model, I've taken some of the standard CV icons and had a look at their pixel size, which doesn't change when you zoom in or out. I've got the standard small CV icon, the larger cross and the circle. And if I compare those to the range of pick box sizes, also in pixels, you get a better idea of how the pick boxes will relate to your CVs on the screen. Here I've got a simple surface with some circles drawn on it. And I'll use the default setting of, of four pixels. And I'll click on the black, the blue, the red, the green. And you can see that I have to click pretty much on top of the CV to select it. If I now have a pick box size of 16, and I click on the black, the blue, the red, it's around about this red circle that the CV gets selected. And if I go all the way up to 32, and then pick on the black and the blue, then around about this blue circle the CV will get selected. But it's view related, so if I zoom in then that pick box size of 32 kicks in at around about the green circle. So I would choose my pick box size depending on the type of model I'm working on. Here's a plastic cap for a squirty cream can. And you can see that it's a very dense surface with a lot of CVs. And if I use a pick box of 32 on this, then it picks far too many CVs and isn't really usable. So in this case, I'd stick with the default size of 4, which picks only one CV, or at the most, just a few CVs at a time. If I go to the other extreme and zoom out and have a look at our yacht surfaces, here I've got a more typical surface where my CVs are well laid out. So having a bigger pick size here makes it easier and quicker to pick the CVs that I want to work on, without having to be so precise with my mouse. So that's covered the three improvements to the Move CV tool in Alias 2011.